welcome back again in this video we will be talking about predicate types but make sure that you have already watched the previous video part C subject type because by watching the previous video it will help you to have easier understanding about this video predicate definition the predicate explains what the subject does or is what is meant by this let's clarify this with these examples he lectures the subject clearly so by asking a question what does he do then the answer is lectures the subject clearly lectures the subject clearly is the predicate of the sentence he is a lecturer then what is he the answer is is a lecturer therefore is a lecturer is the predicate of the sentence now let's talk about the kinds of the predicate verb all the words classified or categorized as verb are termed as predicate for example what run type etc are predicate to be such as is am are was were be and been are also classified as predicate auxiliary such as do does did have has and had are also classified or categorized as predicate now let's talk about the types of predicate just like subject type predicate is also divided into two types namely singular and and plural predicate let's talk first about singular predicate singular predicate is signed by verb ending with s o e s to be is and was auxiliary has and does and the second plural predicate is signed by verb without s o e s to be are and were auxiliary have and do now let's talk about tip and trick based on our discussion in the previous slides talking about subject and verb agreement then if the subject of the sentence is singular you need to use singular predicate what is meant by this singular predicate once again it is signed by verb with s o e s and especially this is simple present tense and also to be is for simple present while to be was for simple past auxiliary has for present perfect once again this is the conclusion if the subject is singular remember s for its predicate let's back to the 
kinds of the predicate for singular subject verb with s o e s to be is was and auxiliary has so all of them have s number two if the subject is plural then we need to use plural predicate too it means if it is the verb then the verb without s for simple present to be are and to be were for simple past auxiliary have for present perfect so this is it if the subject is plural then eliminate the option with s because verb without s o e s to be are were and have there is no s in them no the question is what about auxiliaries did and had for these two auxiliaries we have no problem with subject because both singular and plural subject agree with them to be m is only when the subject is i for example i am a soldier so m is only used for the subject i verb 2 can be used for both singular and plural subject and if this is the verb so the sentence is simple past now let's have exercises to have more comprehension number one lady bintang blank a cartoon while her friends were sleeping this question deals with subject and verb agreement it can be known based on the options all of them are in the form of verbs so to answer this let's check the type of the subject lady bintang is a proper noun and it is only one so it means the subject is singular remember our tip number one if the subject is singular then we need to find the answer predicate or singular predicate singular predicate is signed by s so it means option a what is incorrect because there is no s option b have what is also incorrect because there is no s and then here we have two option with s c and d is watching and was watching so how we how do we choose the correct answer to find the correct answer the clue for this question is while her friends were sleeping that is past continuous so it means we need to find past simple past or past continuous therefore option c is incorrect because this is present continuous and the correct answer is was watching number two the ink blank by my little daughter whenever she blank it here we have two blank spaces and by paying attention to all options here they are about verbs so it means this is still about subject and verb agreement let's check the type of the subject the first subject of the sentence is the ink 
the ink is singular. Why? Because ink is uncountable noun. Uncountable noun is always categorized as singular. And the second subject is C. C pronoun a subject such as he, she, it are always classified as singular. Then the two subjects are singular. It means we need to find singular predicate. And this is still about our tip and trick. Number one, singular predicate is signed by S. So option A is an touches. We need to save this option because is touches are with S. Option B, spill and touch without S. So it means we just eliminate this. Option C, are spilled, touch, just like option B, there is no S. So we also eliminate this. And option D is spilled and touch. Here we have is spilled, that is, uh, can be saved, but touch without S, that is incorrect. So it means option D is also incorrect. Therefore, our best option here is A, is spilled and touches. Number three, Mr. and Mrs. Smith blank their son in Sborong Borong once a year. Then the subject here is Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Two nouns are linked by N, so it will be plural. So remember our tip and trick number two. If the subject is plural, then the predicate must be plural. Predi plural predicate means there is no S. So, to answer this question, we eliminate all option with S. It means option A visits is incorrect because we have S. Option B has visited, has, that is singular. Option D was visiting was for singular then the conclusion or the best answer for this question is option C all right in this video I'm still explaining about the material but in the end of the video later we will discuss more exercises about subject and verb agreement Thank you for watching. Horas, Mauliate, Buzur, Yahobu, Arigato, Seisei.